Maryland a lot of credit. Um, they came out here and they certainly took it to us today. Um, you know, my my biggest uh, you know concern is my own locker room at this moment. Um, you know, we just talked about keeping our head high. Um, you know, we've got to learn from this. We know Maryland as an opponent. We're in the state. We watch them play. Our kids know those guys. Um, we knew that we had a, a you know a, a real physical battle on our hands today. Um, our challenge is to just keep getting better one game at a time. Um, so all the credit is to Maryland right now. Um, I thought they were excellent at the faceoff off X. Um, I thought that uh, you know they got some great um, midfield play that really started their offense and. You know, it just seems to kind of find Wazanuskas on the backside, and he, he's a heck of a shooter. Um, you know, our identity is, is not that different, um, but where it was different today is that, you know, we couldn't, we couldn't run past their short sticks. Their short sticks did a really good job of not having to slide um, where we could find Kevin Lindley on the inside. I thought that they did a good job of taking away the inside, having custody of him. Um, and so that's you know, again, for us to go back and watch film and, and to challenge our guys to, uh, to get a little bit better, you know, offensively, create some easier shots for ourselves. Um, but, you know, just kind of keep getting better one day at a time. Again, hats off to Maryland. I'm Wayne Viner from Viner Four Gates. We make your company work. I'm Arthur Smith with Viner Four Gates. Two-factor authentication is a must-have in today's world. Security training for your company is a must. The crooks are getting smarter. We have to give you the edge to fight back. So, Charlie, with your goalie situation, can you kind of just say it was a bad day and we'll, we'll, we'll see what we got next week? Or what, what do you do with that? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I, I would tell you that, um, you know, Sam wants to be in there. Um, we've got to help whoever's in there a little bit better. It's not fair, you know, to look at any one goaltender and say it's your fault um, at 11 to two or 11 to three. Um, certainly it was not Sam's fault. It was, you know, a, a defensive uh, effort that needs to be better. Um, and if we're playing better defense and I feel that those shots are, you know, 11 yards out, 12 yards out, contested a little bit, then you might be able to look in the goal and say, okay, that's one we needed to have. Um, but when they're at, you know, eight to nine yards, uncontested, as I said, they've got terrific shooters. Um, my challenge is I, I, I can't really go a lot of places outside of trying to give our team energy with a goalie change. And, uh, and that's what I did today. Um, Luke's deserved, you know, over the course of the week to become our second guy. So... You know, he's really getting his first minutes as a Greyhound. Um, tough one to kind of go in off the bench and get your first minutes on. Um, but, you know, I thought Freeman came in in the, in the second half. He's been that guy for us um, to be our second goalie. Um, you know, again, not a great goaltender day, but we didn't give them a chance in there. So my, my job is to, you know, along with them, to figure out, you know, how we get a little bit better each day, how we kind of grow with some confidence. And, um, you know, Sam's, Sam's our goaltender. I will tell you that. Um, we just have to, uh, we just got to figure it out and, and get better around and give them a chance. Yeah, uh, Coach, how do you prepare for a it's If you put too much emphasis on, it's like picking your poison. It seemed like you didn't overplay him today, or, and his numbers were about normal for him. Is that what you expected, or did you not overplay him at all? Well, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like poking a bear, right? Like, you know, you go in the zoo, you don't want to poke the bear. Um, I thought our guys did a pretty good job of, uh, you know, we knew he was going to be on the inside and kind of fade to the backside. Um, we felt like it was really important that, you know, we took great approaches to him. Um, and I thought on the ball, um, we, we competed. Right? But when he's got his hands free, especially coming from the X and a four on three, or, you know, they're skipping through to him. Um, you know, he's really dangerous. Uh, but I thought, I thought, and I told our team this, I thought that Cam Wires, I thought Le, uh, uh, LeBlanc and, um, and Matt Hughes, I thought they played their hearts out down low. You know, it's our challenge is to figure out how to cover Donville and, you know, those guys to Mayo and, and, and becoming a little bit better on, the, on that pick play is something that, you know, we've got to start there. We've got to become better on the picks. 
Uh, we also have to slide to protect those guys in the alley. Um, if we can become better there, then uh, you know it allows our defensemen to have a little more custody of those guys early. But they've got a terrific attack. They know who they are. Um, they play to their strengths. Um, and so you're right, like a, a three or four goal effort from Wasnuskis is probably what you're going to get um, pretty much game in, game out. Um, the challenge right now is, you know, I guess taking away some of the other numbers that are out there. So you have a rotation set for defensive midfielders? You have a kind of... Well, 34, 34 is kind of our, our one. Um, I'd like to tell you that, uh, you know, we have two midfields, but right now we have five short sticks and we're trying to... Um, we, we, we've got a clear one in Peyton. Um, we want him on the wings of face-offs. We think he brings toughness to us. Uh, but, you know, we've got four other guys behind that that are trying to, we're trying to figure out who's a clear two, three, and four. Um, and, you know, again, that's our challenge in practice to those guys is somebody needs to step up and, and take that claim. And um, we, we feel pretty good that uh, they will develop and um, we will probably try to rotate five guys through. Um, you see the amount of time that those guys spend on the field and getting attacked. Um, so I don't, I don't think it's a bad thing to have more than less. Um, but, you know, that's, uh, that's a position that we obviously got to continue to develop. Last one. Uh, despite the score today, how important is it to have a Loyola-Maryland rivalry and how big is it to have Maryland go visit you next year? Yeah, it's something that we're really excited about. Um, John was my first phone call when uh, we found out that we wouldn't have the opportunity to play Virginia. Um, and, you know, to play in this environment, what a great environment for our kids. Um, you know, and I think that Ridley kind of brings the same environment to a lacrosse game, uh, student body get right behind us as well. And, um, you know, I, I feel like, you know, Loyola, Maryland is a game that should be played. Um, just been hard over the last couple of years to get it on the schedule. Um, just like to play a little bit better against them. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks, guys.